Saudi friendship, hospitality, culture, tourism. My name is Alejandro Johnson, I'm from the US. Um, the thoughts that I had about um, coming to Saudi Arabia, um, especially from the US, um, this was a very strict Muslim country. Um, we have a lot of misconceptions about this country that it's um, very oppressive to women. Um, there's a lot of terrorism, um, things like that. Uh, my ideas about Saudi Arabia before coming here were, was that it's a very conservative country, although um, uh, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. Before coming to Saudi Arabia, I've never known anything about Saudi Arabia, only that um, what we hear on the news about, um, you know, the rules here and everything. Before I came here, a lot of my family and friends, you know, and even I at some point thought that everyone that lives here owns an oil well and that they drive uh, Ferraris and that if you just go out to the desert, you can literally dig in the sand and you'll find a hole, you know, f uh, full of uh, oil. Hi, I'm Cristina. I'm from Romania. And uh, before I came here, all my friends, they told me I am crazy to come to Saudi Arabia because of the mutawa and because here the women they have no rights and I will be like in a jail. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, peace be with you. My name is Abdel Hassan, I'm a cooperator with the Saudi Friendship uh, Group. They're doing a tremendous job by making it easy for the uh, people who come expatriates and guests to Saudi Arabia. Uh, the first thing that they encounter is the cultural shock. It's not so easy to come from a completely different culture and live with this Saudi and Arabic and Islamic culture. Saudi Friendship, its non-profit organizations, aim to bridge the gap between Saudis and non-Saudis and Muslims and non-Muslims through hospitality program, cultural program, tourism program. The Saudi Friendship Committee, SFC, is the brainchild of Hisham Al-Khatib, a school teacher, with a vision of uniting cultures through mutual understanding. SFC has been in operation since 2011. The committee's mission is to build bridges of understanding between cultures by educating people about differences and removing misconceptions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, on the behalf of my friends, my brothers, we would like to welcome all the guests from different countries who visited us this night. Since the establishment of this camp five years ago, we welcomed people from all countries, and, and this place will be open for everybody as usual. And I, I would like to thank our brother Hisham, who made this opportunity possible to meet uh, new people from all over, uh, all over the world. Uh, so thank you and welcome. This voluntary global project aims to introduce Islamic civilization and authentic Saudi customs and traditions by organizing cultural, heritage and tourism programs to intellectuals in Saudi Arabia so they can understand Islamic civilization and authentic Saudi customs and traditions. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. My name is Nasser Al Mulhim and I'm a university student volunteering for the Saudi Friendship Program for two years now. It's a program aimed to bridge the gap between the Saudis and the non-Saudis working here. Today we're glad to be welcoming our guests from different countries around the world. We're welcoming guests from Canada, United States, South Africa and the UK. We look forward to meeting you soon in one of our programs. Alasa, a land replete with oases, green spaces and water springs. It is the land of welfare, beauty and good people. Asa means the sound of water underground. It has one of the largest oases in the world and its date palms are among the best in the world. 
It is a place of multiple historical civilizations and archaeological sites like Jabagara, Ibrahim Palace, and many more. Recently, Alasa Oasis has been nominated as one of the seven wonders of the world, and tourists enjoy visiting its fairy tale tourism sites. Saudi Friendship is designed to suit everyone. Its variety of programs helps expats to understand Saudi culture through activities, like being hosted by a Saudi family, or going out to a desert and to enjoy a campfire, experience traditional Saudi hospitality and cuisine, have a fun cultural awareness session by visiting the major attractions of this very creative city, and enjoy the tours of downtown, camel farms, private museums, traditional markets, and the Al-Qara Caves. SFC program, Discover al has been attended by numerous expatriates living in Saudi Arabia, including dignitaries and well-known personalities. The program introduces visitors to Saudi culture by arranging tours in historical sites inside of al -Assa. It also includes tours to traditional homes, camel farms, desert safaris, ancient sites, and a chance to learn about Bedouin lifestyle. It gives visitors a chance to see a rare side of Saudi Arabia. SFC provides expatriates with a forum to make new friends, while at the same time opening the doors to discover al -Assa. I have some Saudi Arabian friends, so that kind of uh, gave me some information on um, how it actually is here though. So they told me some things about it and um, uh, that's pretty much I, I did have some idea but before I met them I really didn't know what to expect. Honestly to say before coming to Saudi Arabia I've never met someone that has been here and people have cautioned me to come and um, they said it, um, it might be um, like very difficult for me but I can honestly say it's been the opposite. Um, it's been so friendly um, wonderful food, the best food I've had in, in my life and um, I feel so safe here and I can really encourage everybody to come and spend time in Saudi Arabia and to connect with um, the non-profit organization um, Saudi Friendships here in Al Hassa and um, to come and really see what it's all about and you'll be amazed um, at the new world opening of just um, wonderful people just um, accept me, accepting you for who you are and um, not judging you, just beautiful culture and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really really happy that I could spend the day here. It's been a great experience and I enjoy being here. I can say I found here very nice people and I make a lot of friends, Saudi friends. Thank you for this nice trip, for your hospitality, we really enjoy it. Today was a very lovely day and I'm drinking this beautiful coffee. I cannot say how beautiful it is. I'm seeing all the camels, I'm seeing all the, the surroundings and we had a lovely day and uh, a very, very uh, generous team taking care of us all day. So I'm, I'm absolutely pleased and delighted that I had the chance to be on this trip. Thank you very much. So, what are you waiting for? Join us now and enjoy learning more about Saudi Arabia. For more information, visit us on our website www.saudifriendship.com You could also contact us via social media www.facebook.com backslash Saudi Friendship also www.twitter.com backslash Saudi Friendship SFC brings people together.
So do you, you just want it flat? Okay, all right, okay, okay. Saudi friendship, discover al Oh, I see, okay, so you want, okay. Okay, so you want some kind of character voice here, all right. The SFC team is wholeheartedly proud to serve you. Saudi friendship, discover al -Assad.